Thank you very much for giving me a voice. Today I will use about uh, investigation of potential of using yeast from Yarrowia lipolitica that lives in Andean rivers and were used for leaching and cleaning chromine, copper and cadmium ions from mine wastewater. They will the the the, the, the talk would be based on article published in microorganisms of MDPE this the 11 October last year and entitled proteomic study of response to copper cadmium and chrome ion stress in Ayaovia lipolitica strains isolated from Andean mine tailings in Peru. The work was written by, by Professor Jennifer Herencia in Molecular Macrobiology and Biotechnology Laboratory at Lima of University Nacional Mayo de San Marcos. The mine uh, technology mine, my, my, my mining in Peru is one of the most important and biggest work employees in the country. Therefore, it's very important to make it more clean and more environment friendly. And very important is to recover waste and retake as much of heavy metals as is possible and make it clean and optimally to retake for making. The researcher found that some yeast, this case Yalovia lipolitica, can he can take and absorb such heavy metal ions. Therefore, we can use them similarly as fungi, observable nanas, to clean wastewater. The there is high quality standards, and especially if gold mining and metals is efficient to reduce cost to avoid illegal mining of metals that destroy heavily South America, Australia and Asia. Therefore important is also to find methods to recover and stop stop devastating influence of of this legal mining. So the Yarovia lipolitica lives in the water bodies in high arms and more than 4,000 meters above sea in Mataro River and China Yorka lakes and were collected. The, the research taking was 2015, so after seven years was checked. They observed that in, because they observed that when increase in Uriver Union Lake, the concentration of heavy metals radically decreased, especially like arsen, carbon, and nickel. Therefore, they found that this yeast helped to clean the water. Thus, it is the potential 
to use in industry to reduce wastewater. The inoculum was checked in, in 300 milliliters per flask for and still 150. The population in such flask was 5 billion per milliliters. Therefore, you need a we used to heavy metal absorption by spectroscopic method and then was sculpture by the Mass spectroscopy was used and data analysis was using missing by bioinformatics solution Big Studio X software for lake analysis of and strict database for risk analysis. The result sample station was shown. The 10, 10 strain of Yarovia were checked and generates the such absorbing. And where Yarov is eight of Yarovia Lipolitica, which is bigger than, for example, Candida, which are two strains that can absorb of, of, of Yarovia Yakushimensis, because some of Yarovia were found in Yakub's river in Russia. So this Yarovia has very big yeast a very big population, uh, many strains and kinds that can absorb these metals. The first is big potential. And population was the uh, experiments increased up to first five days, and then after the five days was radically decreasing. The variable cell cells in control group of heavy was from zero forty eight to one hundred fifty seven me mm and by absorption of carbon. was up to in, in 90 percent and after three days in case of copper iron why in chromium just 90 percent is 70 percent and the, the optimum was up to two days so in case of chromium we need to change this yeast quite often the is some proteins regulated that is using is under protection of chromine was taken, including 384 proteins that can be making this mechanical mechanism and division and regulated expression analysis showed. Protein metabolism and using the important was peroxidase and protein disulfur fat isomerase was the most important in catching these metals so involving theodoxin protein all containing sulfur were important to make this catalyst the bacteria but this was the the case why these copper and chromium ions were taken. The form was used why protein thiodexin reductase also was working beside copper and and chromium also in manganium catching absorbing. So these are three metals which co-works 
as well as cadmium. As a result, we have much higher, three times higher that resistance and absorbing than, for example, of B yeast. Uh, so 142 millimoles of copper was optimal. That can such group use, which is three times higher of, for example, B yeast and much more in case in two times, three times in case of pseudomonas. So it is quite good, but similar to Pleurotica uh, floridus that, that uh, I was telling. So was in case of waste of uh, of seekers and iron and iron and copper were better this use but here when we have also cadmium the better is this yarovia so in conclusion strains are more uh, very tolerant for cadmium chromium and copper ions so this is the key solution, very important and promising in design of cleaning of the wastewater of the contaminated with these metals. Thank you very much for listening to me.